So section 6.2 is addition and subtraction of rational numbers, and section 6.3 is going to be the multiplication and division of rational numbers. Um, first, just a definition of what we mean by multiplication. So if we have A over B times C over D, and we multiply A over B times C over D, we simply multiply across the top and we multiply across the bottom. And by that very definition, it means that multiplication is easier to work with than addition and subtraction. I don't need to worry about common denominators. None of that matters. I just multiply across the top and I multiply across the bottom much easier. So I want to draw you a representation, a visual representation of what multiplication looks like. And we'll do that with a very specific example. Um, and we're going to use the numbers 3 over 5 and 3 over 4. So draw a, a, a rectangle. And I want you to take the rectangle, and we're going to do the 3 over 5 first. We're going to split the length of the rectangle into five approximately equal pieces. Yours might be better than mine because you have a bit more control than I do. I think that's reasonable. Uh, those are five individual strips, and the fraction 3 over 5 would mean that I have 1, 2, 3 of them. That's 3 over 5. Agreed? Okay. So this is sort of like the images that I have this cake, and this is them on a cake that's left over, the blue part that's shaded in. Three-fifths of my cake remains after the birthday party. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to take three-fourths of that cake home, and then I want to, like, send the rest home with somebody else. Okay, not three-fourths of the original cake, but three-fourths of the leftovers. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take the rectangle and we're split it the other direction into four equal pieces. So here's two, and then I'm going to divide it in halves. So now, horizontally, I have four pieces. And of the shaded in pieces of the vert of the horizontalness of it, I'm going to shade in three of them. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. So three of the four horizontal pieces I've now shaded in. So when I think about this picture then, the product is the part that got double shaded. It's the amount that I'm taking home of the cake. How many pieces did I double shade? Nine. And how many pieces did my cake in total have if it was cut like this to begin with? Can you tell? 20. Yeah, five vertically, four horizontally, I have 20. And if you take a look back up at these numbers, that's exactly what happens when you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So this picture is the visual rep representation of 3 fourths times 3 fifths. And although it's not very far, we need to stop. So you guys can do some group work. So we'll stop right there.